Have you ever wondered how much electricity your smart home actually consumes? Most of us just have a sense of how much power each electric device in our smart home actually uses. Nowadays, it's even harder to know, since even devices that might appear off, like a smart bulb or TV, are still consuming power to operate the smart part that allows them to be controlled remotely. But what if I can tell you that you can monitor the power consumption for your whole smart home on real time using just one device? Well, that's exactly what the new Son of Pau CT is here for. And if you're ready, let's go! Full disclosure, Sonoff sent me the device for review, but they are not sponsoring this video and the opinions I share are fully my own. Oh, and that reminds me, let me give a quick shout out to our sponsor, PCBWay. They are not just any PCB manufacturer. They are the one-stop online manufacturer with 24-7 customer service. PCBWay provides lightning fast PCB fabrication and assembly, along with offerings in 3D printing and CNC machining. They provide the easiest way to make your projects come to life. And they recently added a new UV printing multicolor option that will allow you to print any image onto your PCBs. How cool is that? Whether you're a student tinkering in your garage or a seasoned engineer working on the next big thing, PCBWay has your back. Thank you PCBWay for sponsoring this video. In the box, you'll find the device. It has support for an external antenna to have a better Wi-Fi range. The antenna is included in the box, but you can choose not to use it if you had good Wi-Fi coverage. We also found the current transformer. It connects to the PAL CT using an RJ11 connector. The current transformer can be opened for easy installation, and you can find the orientation helper printed inside. You just need to put in the load cable that you want to measure inside, and then close it. Remember that we are working with high voltages here, so if you are not fully confident in your understanding or ability to safely install this device, I strongly recommend contacting a professional electrician for this. The device has an LED screen that displays the consumption values. On the bottom, you'll find the wiring terminals for powering the device. Lastly, on the box, you'll also find the manual, so you can check the available installation options according to your setup. Now, let's talk about some specs. It supports up to 100 amps, which is more than enough to monitor your entire house consumption. It can adapt to any voltage between 100 and 240 volts. It stores historical data for 6 months on the EvoLink app, supports Google Assistant and Alexa, and can be controlled locally via LAN. It's also equipped with overload protection, preventing any possible damage in case of an electric overload. You can buy it using the affiliate links on our website. That way, you also support the channel at no extra cost to you. And you can use the coupon code FIXSONOFF to get 10% off on the ITH store. You can find the device documentation using this link. The wiring is really simple. You just need to connect the current transformer to the load and fit the device with current, preferably connected to the same breaker as the load that you are measuring. There is also an option to use it with a contactor. That will allow you to automatically switch power sources like, for example, from your solar panels to the main electric grid. Before we continue, just take a moment to subscribe if you found this video useful so far. To manage it, we will use the EvoLink app. You can install it using these buttons on our website. To install, just open it. The pairing process is really simple. Just touch the plus icon and select Scan. Then scan the QR code on the back of the device and wait for it to be paired with the app. You can also press and hold the button on the front for 5 seconds to put the device in pairing mode, if necessary. Once it's paired, you can find it on the app. The switch is to activate the contactor. For me, it has no use since I am not using one. At the bottom, you can find the consumption values. If we touch read more, we can see the real-time data as well as a graph with historical data. It can be sorted based on daily, monthly, or yearly consumption. The data can also be exported as a CSV file using this button on the top. Then, if you go back and press on the three dots, you can find more configuration options, like the integration to the different supported platforms, the LAN control toggle, you need to activate this to use it locally in Home Assistant, and all the built-in automation features, like the threshold settings that can be used to control the switch on the device the Reset Consumption button that will reset the device historical data, Push Notice to activate push notifications under certain circumstances, like your daily or monthly consumption goals, to always stay informed. You can activate the offline alert to receive a notification if the device goes offline, and much more. Now, to add it to Home Assistant, you can install the Son of LAN integration by Alex Acti 
using this button on our website. Once installed, just start the configuration using this other button. Once you have it configured, just look for Sonoff on the integrations page. Click on Devices. And here you can find your PAL CT. Now, to add it to the Home Assistant Energy Dashboard, you can use the monthly sensor. But I found that the day it resets at the end of the month, it gives a negative value since it goes back to zero. Since that will mess up all your consumption data, we can use a utility meter to get around that. For this, go back to my website. And here you can use this button to create a new utility meter. Click on open link. Here, click OK. What this is going to do is accumulate all the consumption data in sync with Home Assistant. For this, you just need to give it a name. Select the input sensor. In this case, I'll be using the Pau City Energy Month. On meter reset cycle, select monthly. And if your billing cycle doesn't start the first date of each month, you can set here a reset offset, so it will reset accordingly. In my case, I'm going to set it to 15. And then scroll down and select the last option. So the sensor will always show its last known value instead of unavailable or unknown, if the input sensor is not available for some reason. And then just click on submit. Now, if you go to your Son of Pau CT device, you'll find your newly created utility meter there. Now, to add it to your energy dashboard, you just need to copy the name. Then go to settings, dashboards, and click on energy. Here, just scroll down and click on add consumption. Here, just paste the name and to track the cost, you can use an entity with the current price or just a static one. Then just click on save. And now, if you go to your energy dashboard, you can find your device here. Don't worry if yours is not showing a value yet. Come back in a couple of hours and you'll find here all the information that you need. You can also use the sensors to create automations in Home Assistant. If you want to know how, you can check out this video. Or you can book a one hour meeting with me so we can take a closer look at your smart home and help you achieve that seamless automation experience based on your needs, so you can make your smart home actually help you to achieve your goals. If you like my work, please consider becoming a member on Coffee or on Patreon, like all these amazing people. Currently, we are at 44% of our goal to hire a new editor to create better content for you. If you can't become a member, you can always donate whatever you like using this button on our website. Every dollar takes us closer to our goal. And if you can't do that, don't worry. Just remember to give this video a like and share with your friends. We truly appreciate all your support. And don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.